rapper buddy, the homie D1. Rapper D1 out of New Orleans, if you don't know him, good brother, good positive brother. He, he came, well, I've been knowing D1 for a long, I've been knowing Rapper D1, bro, since he began, you know what I mean? Like, since he started, like, when he was first teaching and rapping at the same time. So, uh, D1, brilliant brother, brilliant rapper, uh, pretty much uh, was a teacher, got into the business, but he still helps with the youth and helps with the children. D1 had called out uh, brother Rick Ross and Meek Mill and also Jim Jones uh, for the use the usage of their lyrics and what they're rapping about. He's not saying they're not talented. He's not taking anything from them. He's just saying, yo, y'all are 50-some years old and you rapping about the streets and shooting and, and the genocide of black people. And they responded very, very negatively. And, it, and, and I mean, he pointed out a valid truth. And to Meek and Rick, uh, I listened to this new album that they have coming out. And, uh, you know, it startled me because I'm like, yo, I, I listened to some lyrics and we still talking about selling dope and shooting and killing. And these niggas is 40 and 50 years old. For real? That, that's where we at, nigga, please. You, you niggas, I would be... That, see, that's the thing. We're going to have to have transparency in rap music because we're in this digital internet age. Y'all are not on the block. Y'all are not holding packs. Y'all are with the billionaires, especially Meek. Meek is on the boat with billionaires. Rick Ross has the largest uh, swimming pool, home swimming pool, uh, on the East Coast. So, like, why are, why are you still rapping about carrying sticks and killing your own kind? I don't understand that shit. I listen to some of the lyrics of the song, and I'm like, bro, y'all are f literally 40 and 50 years old. Rap about some real shit. At this age, all we want to do as men is to provide for our family, protect our loved ones. And this is the majority of black men. These niggas, they push out and, and they represent us as the whole. You know what I mean? So there is some responsibility in that. So the brother D1 calls them out and they get mad. Jim Jones even went so far as to get on sway and call his brother out like he wanted to fight or do something. And it's just like, why, bro? You know, and this is what they do a lot of times. A lot of these gangster rapper niggas, they will, they will try to bully, you know what I mean? Like a, a working guy or a guy that's not in their street life, such as D1, and talk crazy to him. And I saw Jim Jones going on this whole tirade against D1, but it's like, bro, Wack 100 called you out and you got quiet as a mouse. Quieter than the church mouse, bro. So you can't, you're not going to get a brownie point for attacking or doing something to D1. I think the only thing that will happen to you, Jimmy, or to your people, and, and even to his people, like, y'all are going to trick this nigga off the streets. The little nigga that he sends on the mission, that's fine. It's going to go to Jimmy. That's the thing. And that is why I don't mind calling the police on the nigga. Because what you're not going to do is sit here and try to somehow fucking you want to be tough and shit with me, right? No, nigga. You're going to give me the same respect you do to my folks because it's going to be the same consequence. And then I can go on the whole tour telling how I got your bitch ass locked up. I don't do the street shit, the street culture, the tough nigga shit. Suck a dick. It's, it's dead. It's over. You're going to go to jail. It, it, everybody talks tough until them people come knocking on your door. Then your man who you thought with all the shit on all the tats, he's singing. They give it. This nigga eating the motherfucking Popeye's biscuit telling on your ass. And until we get to the place where we just, uh, just say fuck this street shit and love one another, we are going to be lost. 
So it's uh it, right, you talking about that's a that's a great point, doggy five four. Nigga talking about spending the block with six kids and I'm nigga, shut your ass up. You ain't doing shit. You ain't doing a goddamn thing. I'm gonna call the police on you just like your baby mama when she called the police and you run out that motherfucker crying. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. We all grown ass men out here. Ain't nobody got time for your street fantasies. Put some boxing gloves on. Just go boxing man one on one. But all that shit, my little cousin. I mean, this man was going off and the man 50 years old. I don't understand it. And then these niggas sit and cry and want to cry to the white man and shit about what the white man is not doing. You cannot do that, bro. Like, this does not, it don't make sense. You want to harm your own and then cry to others. It doesn't make sense to me. And that shit is trash and fucking whack. And any nigga think I'm lame and square, yes, I am, nigga. Just leave me the fuck alone or there will be consequences. Not tough consequences. You'll just go to jail and I'm going to try to trick you up off the streets. But we going to move right along because I don't want to stay on that too long. It just burns.